Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are doing an example on the pure bending of a composite material that is uh, that is subjected to a moment of 1.8 kilonewton meters. So what we're looking at here is we have this beam, it's in pure bending, and this is the cross section where uh, we see that it's actually not a homogeneous material. We got a looks like a plate of brass, then steel, then brass, and these are somehow bonded to each other. But the important thing here is, is that steel and brass have different moduluses of elasticity. Steel is 200 gigapascals and brass is 100 gigapascals. So in order to solve this, what we want to do is we want to eventually use our equation that is uh, stress is equal to, uh, so like the max stress is equal to mc over i. Now if we want to use this equation, uh, we need to have a cross-section that has a single modulus of elasticity. So if you remember from the last video, the way that we do this is we transform one of the materials basically into the other material and we increase the area or decrease the area by a factor of n. So that factor, uh, let's, let's convert everything to brass here. Uh, so what we do is we take, uh, it's the ratio of ES over EB. So this is the the material that we will be transforming over the material that we were transforming it to. Uh, so we get this is 200 gigapascals over 100 gigapascals. And uh, that is just, uh, we find that n is equal to 2. So let's go and draw our transformed cross section. So what we've done here is we've converted the steel section into, uh, with its modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascals, into an equivalent area of uh, modulus of elasticity of 100 gigapascals. So all we did is we multiply the area by 2, and we increase that area in a direction that's parallel to the neutral axis of the composite, or of the original of the cross section, and uh, and we do that because uh, in real life, like the farthest when we're when we're solving for the max stress, uh, the distance that we go from the neutral axis out to the furthest fibers here, uh, we don't want to increase that distance artificially because uh, that the function depends on that distance. So what we want to do is we just want to increase the width, and then as we go away from the neutral axis, we'll actually be uh, we'll be getting the right distances there. So we increase the area by two. Out, so that's why it's a width of 20 millimeters here and when it started out as 10. And that means that now we've converted everything to E equals 100 gigapascals for the entire cross section. So that is for this part, for this part, and for this part. And now what we can do is we can just solve this for uh, as if it was a problem with a single modulus of elasticity and then uh, and then we'll come back and we'll just uh, we need to factor in n again here like we were talking about in the last video for the max stresses or the stress I guess at any point so let's go ahead and solve this so we are going to need our moment of inertia uh, for the transformed section so I'll just put it there and this is going to be equal to 1 12th base height cube because it is a rectangle so we just get 1 12th times 40 millimeters uh, times 60 millimeters, right? 40, that's just the width there, times 60 millimeters, that's all cubed. And this gives us a final moment of inertia here of 0 0.72 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the power of 4. And we can also convert that to 0 0.72 times 10 to the negative 6 meters to the power of 4. And that will give us the right units for when we plug into into this expression here. So we want to figure out what is our max stress. And this is a rectangle, so our, our neutral axis is right in the middle, um, which means uh, that the, the max tensile stress and the max compressive stress will have the same magnitude. So the because the neutral axis isn't closer to one side than it is to the other. So here we have the max stress is equal to mc over moment of inertia and in this case it is really the moment of inertia of the transformed section uh, so we have that applied moment of 1.8 kilonewton meters or 1800 newton meters times our c distance the max distance in either direction is 30 millimeters so that is 0 0.03 meters and then we're going to put this over our moment of inertia which is 0. 72 times 10 to the negative 6 meters to the power of 4. 
All right, we can cross out some units here. So we got meters, we have two meters on the top, we have four meters on the bottom, so that's gonna go to two and we're gonna get rid of those. And then we're gonna be left with uh, an answer of Newton or units of Newtons per meter squared, which is Pascals, which is what we're looking for for that uh, stress. So we're on the right track. So if we just crunch that, we get, uh, we get 75 times 10 to the six newtons per meter squared, which is pascals. So this is just the same thing as uh, 75 megapascals, me mega pascals. All right, so that is the max stress that this formula is spitting out. And for the untransformed section for brass, that is actually the max stress that we'll have. So we'll say that the stress, like the max stress, and we'll even sub the sub, so we'll say untransformed, uh, is equal to the max stress in the brass section. Uh, and so this is equal to 75 megapascals. Okay, so that's in the brass, when we didn't transform the brass. But for the steel section, uh, we did transform this. We artificially kind of increased this area by twice, uh, twice of what is actually going on in real life. And when we do that, that tampers with our stress measurement because stress is force per area. So what we have to do is we have to basically, we've artificially decreased it by that factor of n when we multiplied it by n by two. So we just have to bring that back in. So our max stress for the transformed section is our, in this case, is our max stress uh, in the steel. Uh, and the way that we solve this is we just multiply n back to the, the value we get up here. So the max stress for untransformed. If we're not looking for max stress, if we're looking for stress at some point, then uh, it'll just be the stress at that point. Okay, so the, all we do here is we're just gonna throw two times 75 megapascals. And uh, we're gonna see that our max stress that we develop in the steel is actually 150 megapascals. So when you're doing these problems, you have to make sure to do this last step to actually find out what the stress is in the transformed section. Make sure you're accounting for that factor that we, uh, that we placed in uh, earlier in the problem when we calculated for the area. So there you go. The max stress, uh, it's uh, depending on what material you're in, is different. And these ones are interesting because they actually have the same uh, value of C. But when we get into the next problem in the next video, where we have the, uh, this, it'll be steel on the top and brass on the bottom, uh, this, uh, this starts getting a little bit more messy, so I will see you guys there, and we will go over it.